In this video, I will show you how to create this really cool font changing animation in After Effects. I've seen this effect quite a lot in my Instagram reel feed, but also in a lot of YouTube videos where the font is changing and I think it's such a cool effect. But before I begin, if you want to learn how to become a pro editor, how to get clients, learn crazy advanced editing techniques, then do join the Social Creator Club Pro. Link is in the description. It's an amazing community with some great editors. So I hope to see you in there and then let's jump into it. So I have my After Effects open. I'm just going to create a new composition. Let's make this 4k 25 frames per second and comp one is actually fine press ok i'm gonna zoom in a bit this animation is quite long now i think five seconds should be enough now we can just go to the text tool and we can type our text for example font change animation there we go now i'm gonna change this font first to something like Montserrat. I'm gonna make sure the text is centered. This is really important. And then also align it to the center. Now there's actually two ways of doing the effect. I'm gonna show you both. So the first one is quite simple. Of course, you can just go to the properties panel. We can just zoom in a bit. And then maybe after five frames, you click on the text, you press Command Shift D or Control Shift D on Windows. And then we change the font to something else. For example, Montserrat Bolt. Now it will just change the font as you can see. And then we can do the same. We can go a bit further, five frames further. So here at 10 F, do the same thing, Control Shift D, or Command Shift D, and then change it to a different font. For example, a font like this. And now it will basically change every five frames. Now, as you can see, this is a really easy effect, but what if you now want to change the timing of things? Or maybe if you want to loop this, then you have to duplicate this, change the length of this. So it's not ideal to reuse this animation. And as you know, I like to work efficient. So let's say you work on a client project, you want to make it efficient as possible, making it easy to reuse this animation. So I'm actually gonna work with a expression. And expressions in After Effects are basically type of code and I'm just gonna select these, I'm gonna delete these. So I have one text layer left. Let's drag this out so it's just longer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to layer, new, null object. I'm gonna go to effects and presets and I'm gonna add a slider control to this. Let's drag this onto the null and then we have this slider and we can right click on the slider and rename it. And I'm gonna call this font changer, there we go. Now, nothing is of course happening. We still have to apply the expression. So I'm gonna click on the font, press T for transparency to open up the opacity panel, hold Alt and click on the opacity. Now I'm gonna paste this expression and just click in the background. And by the way, if you want this expression, of course, if you are a pro member, you will get access to this project file, but I will also post this in the free community so you can still follow along. Now, as you can see, the text has disappeared. Basically what this expression does, it will look at this slider value and it will also look at the order of the text. So this is now the second layer, as you can see, there's a number two. That means that if we set the slider to number two, it will show our text. Now to finalize this animation, we need to do something and that is duplicating our text. So I'm just gonna duplicate this text. I'm gonna change the font of this. So for example, we change it to something else like Lato. Then I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna change it to something else. Then I'm gonna duplicate it again, duplicate it again, duplicate it again. And ideally you want fonts that are somewhat similar in width, but are really different in type of style. So now I got a few text layers, as you can see, but nothing has changed yet. And that's because we still have to keyframe this. So we can go to our null, we can keyframe the slider. We can go a bit further, maybe one second. And then let's change this value to 10. And why 10? Because that's our last layer, as you can see, number 10. And what will happen now, because of the keyframes, as you can see, it will change the fonts automatically. So we can just play this and it will change the fonts. And this is a really cool effect, as you can see. Now press U to see our keyframes. And now what's cool about using this method is that we can literally just drag these keyframes out to two seconds, for example, play it again. It will be slower, so we can change the timing. We can also put this keyframe here and then maybe changing it back to two. So changing it back to two here, and this will basically loop it. So if we now play it, that's cool. We can also slow it down. We can, for example, delete this, make this go quite quick in the beginning, select this keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, go into the graph editor, something like this. So this will basically make it go really quick in the beginning and then slow down at the end. 
Maybe we have to drag this out a bit, something like this. Some sound effects under this. And then you get something like this, a bit of an easier tutorial this time. That's why this video is also a bit shorter, but do let me know if you want to see something next. Trust me, there's a lot of cool tutorials coming. Then of course, like always, thanks for all the support. The last couple of tutorials have gotten some crazy response by you guys. And I'm super, super grateful for that. Again, do join the Social Creator Club Pro if you want to see even more advanced tutorials. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and then thanks for watching. Bye.